What's up guys, this is Andy from the 91 Amen YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you an untethered jailbreak uh, for all devices, all devices that actually support 4.2.2 except for the iPad second generation. So this will work for the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, uh, the AT&T model only. Uh, I don't think it will work for the Verizon one. Uh, the iPod Touch third generation, the iPod Touch fourth generation, and the iPad first generation. This won't work for the Verizon iPhone 4, and this won't work for the iPad second generation. Uh, again, this is with Red Snow 0.9.6 RC14. I'll have uh, links to download uh, the Red Snow in the description below. It's available for both uh, uh, Mac OS X and Windows. Okay, so before you begin anything, you're going to actually need to install the 4.3.2 firmware for your device. Um, as you see, I'll have a, a link to this website in the description below. And you just go to this website and click right here and find your device and find the 4.3.2 firmware for your device. So I'm jailbreaking my iPhone 3GS um, on, of course, on 4.3.2. And let me find it here. And it's right here. And just click download it. Click download and um, just save it to your desktop. And it's that simple. And once you have that, you're also going to need to download the Red Snow program. I'll have the link to the Dev Team's blog so you can download it. Again, it's available for both Windows and Mac. So let's begin. This is actually pretty simple if you're used to using Red Snow. And again, this is untethered. Um, no unlocks at the moment. So again, I'll have a video once an unlock is out. So now, uh, okay. So it wants us to browse for the 4.3.2 firmware for our device, which is right here. And just click open. And it's going to process the firmware. And just give it some time here. actually taking a while to process. Okay, so now it says it's uh, the IPS value was uh, successfully identified, so we can click next. And it's going to prepare the jailbreak data. And just give it some time here. And once you're on this page, you're going to need to install Cydia for the jailbreak. Uh, and you don't need to worry about any of this. Install custom bundle, allow boot animation, install iPad baseband. Again, don't worry about this, just click next for only for the jailbreak, you're only gonna need Cydia. So once once you have Cydia checked, click next. And now it wants us to turn our device and plug it in. So let me actually turn off my device. Um, I just disconnected it for some reason and my device is connected my wire is too short and okay hold on okay so my device is on let me turn it off Alright, as soon as, as soon as I click next, it's going to tell me what to do. And I'll read it to you guys. Okay, so I'm clicking next right now. And you want me to hold the power button for 3 seconds. Without releasing the power button, keep holding the power and home for 10 seconds. And then 3 more. And then let go of the power button and keep holding the home button for about 15 seconds. And that's it. Saying exploding with lime rain. And just give it some time here. And your device should be jailbroken on 4.3.2. Of course. Don't worry about this. This is actually uh, the code being run. 
and it's not a problem. No one's hacking your iPhone or anything. Because it's all the jailbreak process. And on the computer, it just says done. The rest of the process will take place on your device. So pretty simple. Again, this is all normal. Okay, so now it's booting up. And it wants my passcode. And it should, that's it guys, it's that simple. And here's Cydia. You can tap on Cydia. As you saw, it was white. I think uh, after it's done doing this, it'll go back to the normal icon. So here I have Cydia on my iPhone 3GS running 4.3.2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're, leaving, if you're having any problems, uh, leave comments below and I'll try to help you out. And if you're not, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.